How's it going guys? My name is Fred and welcome back to No Man's Sky. So, the last time we played this, I actually recorded all three episodes on the launch weekend, the PC launch weekend, so about two days after it came out. You could say that this game had a slightly shaky launch, or you could say it had one of the worst launches of the past year. Lots of disappointed people, people like it wasn't working, stuff wasn't in the game people were expecting, many people were very unhappy. It's been a couple weeks since then, lots of people have just stopped playing the game entirely, but I'm still here. I've been playing a bit since then, I've uh, I've been around a couple of star systems now, I've discovered some things, you should also notice. I, I have a new ship, it looks like it looks like a torch or like a battery, but I kind of like it, I think it's kind of cool. I also, I'm pretty sure, have a new gun, if I could get it out. Oh, I can indeed! Oh, it's nice and, it's nice and red and green, I think it's a, uh, if you could actually hold it to show the people. I think it's kind of cool. So today we're back here on No Man's Sky, but it's slightly different this time because I have installed some mods to try and see if I can make this game a little bit more interesting. So, uh, I've got four mods running at the moment. I've got no rim light, which basically means, basically rim light, guys, if you don't know. Uh, it means that stuff is lit up on all sides, even if there's no light shining on it. So you can see with these trees now, one side is actually dark and one side is bright. Basically before, uh, it would always look kind of like, how do I turn my torch on? I can't turn my torch on. But anyway, stuff would be lit up from all sides and it wouldn't look so so nice. So I've turned that on. So you get slightly more dramatic shadows and stuff like that. It looks kind of cool. Then, you will notice there's some rather large plants around here, basically. I've got the Big Things mod, which makes all like rocks and plants and stuff bigger. Well, not all of them, but lots of them. So you get places like this, where you get a big old forest. I also have big creatures. So some of the animals in this game will be bigger. Some are the same size, but some should be massive now. This planet actually doesn't have any animals, so we're not going to find any here, but we'll blast off in a second. Then the last thing we have is a mod called Immersive Space. I haven't actually tested it out yet, because I haven't been off this planet since I installed it, but what it said it does is, because as you saw before, like when you're flying around between the planets, like in our, in our first galaxy, everything was like orange and it wasn't black like you would expect, stuff like that. So this has changed it. So the space actually looks like actual space so it's kind of black you get some colors from the nebula but mainly it should look oh it should look like real outer space look at that that is way nicer that is way nicer than the stupid orange sky we had before i like this that's cool so as i said since last time i'm not i'm no longer in our starting galaxy i'm actually a few galaxies away if i look in my uh in my galaxy map i think i'm about Five away? Is this the path I've taken? No, that's the path towards the galactic core. Go backwards. Show me where I've been. Where the hell did I come from? Oh well, crap. I have absolutely no idea where the Vader system gone. The Vader system is just, it's lost in space. No, I, I can't find it. Well, anyway, you can do scan for discoveries. Will this show me my stuff? It will not. Select nearest. Uh, no, that's someone else's thing. Apparently, that's the McCoy system belonging to Captain McCoy. How wonderful. It is kind of cool. There's other people's stuff out there, but... How far away? It's, uh, oh, 206 light years away. My hyperdrive is not that good, so apparently I cannot get there. Where? I've completely lost where I am. Yeah, I'm up here. That's a long way away. I'd like to go to someone else's planet, so that would be cool, but just for now, uh, we're gonna need to find, to find some new stuff to be able to upgrade our hyperdrive in order to get there. I would also like to go to one of the different colored stars. You'll see in the galaxy, there's different colored stars. So yellow stars are, uh, god damn it. Yellow stars are G-class which is like the standard class of stars, and you get like the least interesting stuff on the planets and the systems. You'll see there there's other colored stars, such as this, what is that, blue or white? Such as this one here, that's a B class. If you can go to those ones, there's slightly more interesting stuff, but I need a warp reactor upgrade. I don't have any warp reactor upgrades. Let's just head to, uh, why not this guy here, Vadbitus. How is that a randomly generated name? Whatever. Let's go to Vad beat us and Vad is gonna beat you. No, sure, whatever. I was trying to make a joke because it's similar to my name, but it's not that similar, so it didn't work properly. Let's just, just take me there. Fly through the space. So, in Vad beat us, let's land on some of the planets. Ooh, hello there, guys. How you doing? You friendly? I think, I think we're fine. Let's land on some of the planets. I can't remember how many planets there were here. Four planets. There's four planets. Let's look at some of them. See what kind of things are on the planets, hopefully. Some nice big plants and creatures. Let's go down to Ekmangene Awata. <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a wonderful place. Oh hey, monolith. I'll take a monolith. Let's land it. Land it. It's a very mountainous planet. It's got a lot of these goddamn mountains. My god. Okay, get out here. That's kind of a precarious place to land, isn't it? Um no, I'm sure that's fine. Okay, we've got fair weather, average sentinels, but then there's undetected fauna and barren fauna. So basically, this planet 
absolutely nothing. It's great if you like rocks. I could scan all the like the cones and stuff on this planet, but really like cones are the same on every planet. Let's get back in the ship. Let's just go to one of the bases. Maybe, maybe they'll have a warp reactor upgrade for me and I can go to a blue star. That would be cool. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Hello there. My name is Vader and I've come to say hi. Oh, it appears they have all died. But you never know, maybe their damaged machinery has something good for me. Oh, no, I already know that. Yep, it appears there's not too much going on on this planet. Let's maybe blast off. There's no animals, there's no plants. It's a bit of shit, really. <laughs> yeah, let's maybe head to this little planet here. It looks like a moon, but apparently no, that's a planet. Solanoto Amuga. Sounds, sounds fancy. Come on, Vader wants a planet with just tons of animals. I want it to be like a petting zoo when I get down there. I just want there to be animals everywhere. I got this big creatures mod. I really want to show it off. I want to see some big old creatures. Come on. Three, two, that is not counting down at real time. One. Oh, we're here. Let's land. Oh, let's land at this base right by the coast. Oh God. Oh, those are big old trees. Yeah. The one thing we're having the big things mod, which makes the big like plants, the trees don't spawn until you get really quite close to them. So when you're trying to land, it can make it tricky, but once you're on the ground, man, does it look cool. This place. Look at this. Oh, oh no, what is that? I'm gonna stay right over here. I'm just gonna scan it from a distance. How about that? Uh, is it flying? Is that a flying animal? Oh no, oh no. This is, no, 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 no. Oh, there's more of them. And they're really close to my ship. Get, you get away from here, you creepy flying crab thing. Uh, oh, and there's like a baby one as well. Why, why? This is, this is a crime against nature. Anyway, it appears this planet, uh, Silamunutu Amuga, whatever it's called, it has abundant flora and average fauna. So there should be a few animals out here. Oh, there, there's definitely a few animals that we can find. Let's take a look around, hopefully find something that isn't a horrific flying crab. Ooh, guys, I see fish. Can I get in the water? I think I can get in the water for a little bit. I won't, I won't drown that quickly. Are they swordfish? Oh, it's like a cross between a swordfish and a puffer fish. That's really cool. Part of me kind of wants to kill it so I can get a better look. It's for science. It's for science, guys. There, there's plenty more out there. We will we will honor their death. <laughs> You're really not doing the whole fish thing very well there, guys. Let's just take out one of these things. Die, please. Just come on. How strong could a fish possibly be? It just disappeared. Oh, no, it's here. It just flew up in the air. Look at that. It is. It's like a... <laughs> I, no, I, I don't know what that is. The long-nosed zebra fish. <laughs> How fantastic. Oh no. Oh no, they've come to uh, they come to mourn the death of their colleague. He died of natural causes, okay? I used the laser to put him out of his misery. It wasn't me. Just go back into the water. You're fish, okay? This is not where fish belong. Just go back that way. It's goddamn nosy zebra fish. Get it? Because they got... Big noses and yeah. Oh yeah, I just realized I never actually went inside of this building. Hopefully the inhabitants aren't all dead. Oh, I see smoke. That's not promising. Uh, no, they're all dead. Let's just get away from this place. There's crabs. Everyone died in there for some inexplicable reason. I get the feeling it was the crabs. Let's just, let's just get away from the crabs. Man, this place has got, it's got a lot of trees. Oh well, yeah, guys, I'm having a hard time finding any buildings in this planet because it's quite hard to see anything for the trees. There's two more planets in this system. Let's blast off. Go to one of the other ones and hopefully they will have big old animals. Oh, dude, look at that. There's an eclipse. An eclipse on Re uh, Retek Cheng. Is that what? Icelandic? I don't know what kind of name that is, but we're going there. Hopefully it's a cool planet nonetheless. One thing I was going to say, there are a couple more mods that I was interested in trying, but I didn't actually download for this. There's one in particular, which is just called Mountains, which apparently alters the, the kind of terrain heights you can get. So you can get giant, giant mountains, much bigger than anything we've seen. I thought that'd be really interesting, but it said that uh, when you spawn, you may be in the floor and I wasn't in a space station. So I was kind of worried of that happening, but it would be kind of cool to try out some of those other ones like that, just to see how far we can push this game with mods. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? Temperate climate, low sentinels, it's devoid of flora, but it has frequent fauna. But where are they? Oh, well, I found something. It's not big, it's it's tiny. But what are you? Oh, it's like a little turtle dinosaur. Oh, that's pretty cute. And apparently those little white dots mean there's more stuff down this away. We apparently have some kind of cave creatures, but what are they gonna look like? That's a mushroom. It must be behind the mushroom. Oh, hey, it's a big old cat. Dog, no, that's not, that's not either a cat or a dog. Oh God, seriously, a crab lizard. It's a crab and a lizard, go away from me. Oh, no, stop, stop vibrating. Are you serious? It has the head of Jar Jar Binks with the body of like a horned crab. Oh God damn it. But this planet does have these guys. Don't attack, no, I've got iron. I swear, I, no, I don't have iron. I'll get you some iron, don't worry. Little buddy, come back to me. Wait, you don't have horns. The one before had horns. Oh, fine, just take it, take it. Oh, do you love me now? 
He does, he loves me. I think it's kind of like, it's kind of like a giant mouse. If a mouse made babies with a platypus and several other animals at the same time, that was just a big old orgy of various different animals and it made, it made that thing and we're not gonna question it, okay? Oh, hey, the sun's come up and that looks pretty cool. You can see all three of the other planets in the system. Nice. I was promised big animals. This planet has lots of animals. Hello. Oh, oh, it's a warthog thing. That's pretty cool. It's apparently, oh, it's a poodle. That's a, poo a poodle. Uh, that's kind of cool, but it's not that big. Let's keep searching. Oh my God, it seems like they've made everything smaller. What is going on with this mod? It's a tiny, tiny, like scaly deer thing, which is really cool. <laughs> this is really not what I was come here for. Where's all the cool animals at? Ooh. There's species up in them there hills. Oh, not actually what I was expecting. You are meant to be big. Well, it seems, guys, there's nothing particularly massive on this planet. I found I found several different species now, and they're all just like normal size. They're all like dog slash horse size. I was expecting something a bit bigger. Let's get a little bit of damaged machinery. I have that already. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's maybe head off this planet. We've got one more in this system we can check out. Well, thank you, Detective Chen. You had a wonderful variety of, of small doggo sized animals, but that's really not what we came here for. There's one more planet, which I'm assuming is one of these two planets. There's one more planet, which hopefully is going to have some big stuff. Come on, Logzard. All, all eyes are on you. You better have them animals that we came here for. Let's just get out of the ground. We'll get out and tell us how many animals we are to expect. And hopefully, hopefully it's a lot. Oh, I can see a big mushroom already. Oh, many, many big mushrooms. Oh, Jesus. Oh, holy shit. Well, it's a mushroom planet. Where's even the floor? Where's the floor? This, this is too many mushrooms. Guys, I'm in a minor predicament. I'm stuck between a mushroom and a hard place. This is not good. Oh, I see a cool little flying animal. Come back. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I nailed it. Nice. I definitely saw a big blue deer. Oh, that is what we came for. Oh, yes. It only took four planets, but we found one eventually. This planet is... It's poisonous as hell, so we can't spend too long, too long admiring this thing, but man, I like that. That's really cool. Anyway, this planet, apparently, it has acid rain, average animals, generous flora. I did notice that there's a few mushrooms around the place and also bountiful flora. So, uh, big blue scaly deers, that's just one of them. I definitely saw a flying thing at one point and that looked pretty big too, but sadly, it's flown away. Well, this may not be the biggest, but the animals in this place are pretty damn cool. Scan that thing. That's a, uh, whatever it's called, an Eritrata Terra. <laughs> wow. Oh, we also have this lovely reindeer looking... Yep, that. <gasps> guys, guys, I can see it. Scan it, scan it, scan it, scan it. What is that? Don't scan the thing. Don't scan the tentacles. I don't want that. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, it turns out, top of the mushroom, not solid. Well, it was solid when it hit my ship, wasn't it? But no, I can't climb on it now. Now when it would be useful. Oh, no. Oh, you can't you can't touch the mushrooms. Well, anyway, we did see the flying things. I know they're up there, and I know they're cool looking. Sadly, we didn't see that many giant things, but this was modded No Man's Sky. If, if you like big plants, oh, that works great. There's tons of big plants. Basically, guys, with the big animals, I installed the thing where it's just like, I think the size of the animals are random so they're not all massive because I didn't want them all to be giant. That would have been weird, but I was I was hoping for slightly more than this. But yeah, it turns out you can transform this game quite a bit with the help of some of these mods. There's also, there's loads of like graphics mods. There's ones to sort out the lighting. There's texture revamps. There's things that make all the buildings look different. There's, re sh there's ship skins to make these higher quality. Like there's all kinds of stuff to change this game. If you guys would like to see some more modded No Man's Sky, I could just go crazy and install everything. It wouldn't run very well, but I, I could do it if you guys wanted that. Leave a like to let me know if you want to see more, but until next time, I have been Vader. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.